Sagan's babies arrived Monday, August 25. Seems that just yesterday she was a baby herself. If you listen closely, you can hear them squeaking. She gave birth overnight, Sunday. Pretty soon, instinct kicked in, as you can see, with the nesting and care and feeding. But I believe that when she first saw me that morning, she looked at me and pleaded with me, tell me, what, what should I do? I did my best to explain, Sagan, you're the rat, not me. One thing became clear, she would not permit other rats to get in the way. The males took shelter to avoid her wrath. Around mid-morning, Sagan constructed her shelter out of newspaper. Ziggy, proud father, watched the proceedings. Earlier, I had made her a separate nest away from the other rats so that she could have some privacy, but she was having none of it. One by one, she carried each of the six babies back into her home rat attack, covering them with newspaper. Now it's Wednesday, August 27, and a striking change has occurred. You can see the markings that they'll have later in life have imprinted on their backs. Wednesday night now, and Ziggy rooms Sagan. Sagan gets a bit of rest. They grow up so fast, you know. Soon, they'll be like Stripey and all the rest. Curious, adventurous, daring. They're a lot like us, these rats. How we treat them will determine who they grew up to be.